The second stone is Holy Mass. Our Lady says a lot of things about Holy Mass. She says, celebrate Holy Mass with your, with your heart. Um, come to Mass early before Mass and prepare in silence for Holy Mass. And then she says, never leave Holy Mass without making your thanksgiving. To the priests, she said, please come 10 minutes before at least and prepare for Holy Mass before you celebrate it. Okay? But she, to us, in general, she also says things like, um, go to Holy Mass as often as possible and receive Christ in a state of grace. Okay. So that's Holy Mass. Now, a Protestant friend of mine said to me, do you Catholics really believe the host is Jesus? I said, of course we do. And she said, well, if I believe that, I would, and these are her exact words, I would run to the church now, fall on my knees at the threshold, and crawl on my knees up to the sanctuary, and prostrate myself before the tabernacle, and worship him, and never leave. Okay? So, that's the thing, you know, a Protestant would kind of, you know, they would put the money where the mouth is. We Catholics are a bit hopeless, aren't we? We are. You know, basically, Protestants are, you know, all they have is really the Bible, but they treasure it, they, and, and they, they, they're on fire with love for Jesus. I'm thinking of evangelical Protestants, I guess, not the, not the liberal kind, okay? Uh, it's, it's a bit like all they have is a stick of celery, and they're savoring every crunch, okay? And we Catholics, we have this huge seven-course meal spread out for us, and we're like bored. Aren't we? We're a bit like that. We have all the sacraments and we're like, uh, oh, do I have to go to Mass? Oh, I don't want to. You know, that's my parents now. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yes. But it's really Jesus. It is really Jesus there. So, you know, that's why it's so important when we go into church. We say we're preparing to meet our Lord and Savior. So we need silence to meet Him. We can't go in and yak away, oh yeah, isn't it, oh it's hilarious, you know, I was on Cross Mountain, I fell on my bum and this and that, oh, okay, fine, maybe it was hilarious. But really, you know, when you're preparing for Mass, <laughs> it's not the time to talk about these things, right? But the other thing is, you know, I've noticed, if I say there'll be a, at 3 p.m. today at Shomansi, there'll be a healing Mass, everyone would run there, everyone would flock there, okay? Uh, but every Mass is a healing Mass. Isn't that true? Because it's Jesus, right? What more do you need to make it a healing Mass? All you need is Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And they're both there at every Mass. The woman with the hemorrhage only touched the hem of Jesus' cloak to be healed. You and I take Jesus whole and entire, body, blood, soul and divinity, and put him in our mouths and swallow him. So if you have faith, if you... If you really want it, what's there to stop you being healed? If it's in accord with God's will, yeah?